black walnut rye stuffing, a Thanksgiving treat that your family will go nuts over. <laughs> Green food. Hi, welcome to Camille. Hi, welcome to Camille. Hi, welcome to Camille. Hi, welcome to Camille Cooks, where every episode we feature a recipe that has an ingredient that we got for free, either by getting it out of the garden, harvesting it, or fishing or hunting. Our free ingredient is black walnuts, and I actually found these on the ground at a local park. They were just right there for the taking. I may have had to fight a couple of squirrels off, but it was worth it. Now let me tell you about these black walnuts. A couple of tips that I learned when I was harvesting them. Number one, use gloves. You've heard of walnut stain? Yeah, they will stain your fingers. Number two, they are hard as rocks. You think you can use one of these nutcrackers to open them? Think again. We're talking this. Number three, if you harvest these before they are ripe, they are nasty. You don't want to eat them. They taste like turpentine. It's super gross. Don't pick them off the tree. I know it sounds gross to take them off the ground, but I promise you, you'll be glad you did. It's ripe if it's on the ground. Don't pull them off the trees. For this recipe, you'll need one tablespoon of unsalted butter, three quarters cup chopped onion, one third cup chopped celery, one half of a Granny Smith apple peeled and diced. It's about three quarters of a cup. A tablespoon of minced garlic. One eighth cup dry white wine. One half teaspoon of salt and an eighth teaspoon of pepper. One half cup of chopped black walnuts. One half loaf rye bread cubed and set out overnight or toasted so that they are crispy and crunchy. One half cup of chicken broth and an egg. Which came first, the broth or the egg? And a quarter cup of flat leaf parsley chopped. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna melt the butter, then we're gonna add our celery, onion, apple, and garlic. And we're gonna simmer it all around for about two minutes. And this will make your house smell so good. While we're waiting for that to simmer and cook, I'm gonna show you, in case you've never shelled a walnut before, this little tool, it's not a dental pick, it is a tool to get nuts out of their shells. So you can see, you can just buy it at any, you know, like grocery store or home store, Walmart, Target. Um, and you'll just reach in there and start scraping a little bit of nut out of its little cracks and crevices. If you're lucky, you'll get a big section all at once. Otherwise, you really need to have some kind of tool like this or else it's really hard to get the nut out. Next, we're gonna add the salt and pepper and the dry white wine. We'll let that simmer just a couple more minutes. And we can preheat the oven to 350. Now is the fun mixing part. We're gonna add to the bread our delicious onions and celery and apples and garlic mixture. We're gonna add in our delicious walnuts. Green food, thanks nature. We're gonna add in our parsley. We're going to add in our chicken broth and our egg, which will bind it all together. Should give us our stuffing texture. Then we just mix to our heart's content, and then we'll put it in the pan and cook it up. And now that we're all mixed up, I'm going to spray my pan. This is not a 9 by 13, this is the size smaller, so it's the whatever by whatever. And we're going to put all of this into the pan, get it ready to bake. All right, so we're set. Now we're going to put some foil on this and we're going to bake it for 20 minutes at 350. Now another option is you can add some ground pork sausage to the recipe and that makes a really nice flavor too. It's cooked for 20 minutes, now we'll remove the foil and let it cook for another 10 minutes so it can get brown on top. And it's ready to take out of the oven. So here you have it, black walnut rye stuffing, a Thanksgiving treat that your family will go nuts over. <laughs> you see what I did there? Nuts. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like the video, and subscribe and hit the bell to get more notifications the next time I release a video.